Welcome everyone to Southwest Regionals. You're going to watch the final of the men's of the six and under tournament with um, I believe there were 77 entrants. These are the final two left. You got um, Randall Moore who just broke the balls versus Gary Engelhart. Um, Randall won the hot seat match so Gary's going to have to defeat him twice. We're at uh, Wicopa Resort and Conference Center in Scottsdale, Arizona. Having a great weekend, weekend here so far. Randall got here by defeating, well, first he had a bye to start with. Then he beat Claudia Justice, Kelly Ferris, uh, Kenny Carroll, Greg Bautisto, Paul Hannum, and um, Becky Onembo. And Gary... Gary's route was the longer route. He um, he came through uh, and beat Melanie Ryan, Hot Rod Ramirez, Adam Wilson, Jamie Goodwin, Mel Corleal, Paul Hannum, Mike Penrod, and Becky Onembo. So um, uh, here we are in the hot in the final match, and Gary's going to have to beat defeat uh, Randall twice. Starting out with. Um, Looks like he's been played safe. All the balls are lined up on the left side of the table. And he's trying to play safe back. And he's succeeded. Got the corner, came over. This is a race to five. As you can see, Gary Englehart is a 99% favorite over Randell, Randall Moore, according to Fargo Rate. But then again, keep in mind that Randall Moore does not have a um, Fargo rating. So that's why you see him at a 99%. They're giving Randall Moore a 1% chance of beating him uh, since there's no data in the system. But I think um, Randall will have a lot to say about that. And uh, we'll go from there. From what I've seen so far and looking at the record, uh, Gary's record to get to this final match. Uh, in this tournament, he has won 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. He's won 40 games and lost. Eight. So that would give him a pretty strong Fargo rate once that information gets entered. So he's gone through the field rather effectively, efficiently, and with no pity because he won some of his matches. One, two, three matches at 5 0. He won three matches at five to one. He won one match at five to two. And he just won his last match against against Becky Onembo, who played in the hot seat match at five to three. Randall's left the three ball. <laughs> Gary's going to go to work here. He's got three balls by the side pocket that'll be pocketed there. He's got two on the right hand side by the corner pocket. Bringing the balls. Right, it's going through there, huh? I believe he just got into a little bit of trouble. He plays, played himself pretty safe. He could possibly play this six ball off the four to the side pocket. This cue ball is going to travel towards the side pocket on the right. So if he draws this ball, he'll put English on the six ball and it should go off. This could go off the four. He's got to hit the right side of the six ball. Not scratch. And if he knows this shot, 
Well, he's a strong six, let's put it that way. He could see a lot more of it than I thought he could. Another safety coming up. They'll probably go off this uh, ball next to the rail by the 13. Try to leave the cue ball on the 13. Nice and soft. Softer than that. Softer than that. So he's left a little bit of a shot. Possibly the five in the side pocket. The two ball in the side pocket. I'm not sure if you can see the six ball in the corner pocket. Six ball is laying up by the side pocket in route to the corner, upper right. Two ball, of course, is um, at 9 o'clock to the 8 ball, or just to the right of. And he's looking at the 5-4. He's looking at it to shoot at it, or he's looking at it to play shape for it. Randall's going to be playing this, uh, looks like a 13. I think he's trying to cut it. I don't think he'll try to. Scott, we're okay. I a little bit out from the pocket but um, Randall doesn't have much to shoot at. he's gonna hit the inside of this 12 ball and catch that rail and try to nuzzle up against this 13 oh, or against this ball well, if it comes out did he flow it out he did and uh, Gary's got a shot to start things off with he can shoot at the six ball in the corner pocket he can shoot at the five ball in the side pocket Takes the six in the corner and hits it pretty good. Keep in mind this is a six and under tournament. It's an eight ball, race to five. He's played another safety. Right here, uh, Randall might have a chance to pocket this 14 on the right-hand side by the corner pocket if he goes rail first. He's got to get as much as he can down here.
Split the wicket right through that corner pocket. He came up a little too far though, but he's got a nice, he's got a little bit of an angle here. Yeah, neither one of these players have a Fargo rating, so your percentages down there in the bottom uh, don't work. He's going to attempt to pocket this uh, seven ball into the rail, into the ball, into the corner. A lot of in twos there. Very well done. Struck it perfect. for the four ball on the side, shape for the two ball, and then the eight ball in the left-hand corner pocket. Well, you guys positioned for the two ball, but the four ball still on the table. And once again, Vandell has a cluster of balls in the middle of the table. No shot available that I can see. He's probably going to want to go off this uh, 12 and two rails underneath this. If he can just put the cue ball right where that chalk is. Not there. I'm not going to hit a rails ball in hand. Ouch. Well, the one thing he did is he blocked the A ball to the left side. And I don't think Gary has noticed that he did not catch a rail and is not taking ball in hand at this point. He'll hit this with um, left hand English. Go two rails for position on this two. He's not using any English. He used outside English and lost the cue ball to the side pocket, looks like. Sure did. All because he wasn't paying attention, did not see that the, um, the Randall didn't like hit a rail after contact. This is one of the reasons when you're playing in a tournament or you're playing for money, whichever, or you're playing serious pool, you want to pay attention to what your opponent's doing. Your eyes shouldn't be somewhere else. Uh, keep your eyes on the table, improve your focus, and be aware. It's not your opponent's responsibility to call a foul on himself. It's your responsibility to call that foul. Is he going to play this on the side and come back for this uh, 13? Looks like it. He might play it in the corner. But he got safe. Did he get safe? Oh, it's tight. It's, it looks like he's got him safe. He'll be able to see the right-hand side of the two, which means he can go off of it and leave it up at the head of the table to leave a long, long shot. Not sure if he can see this. He could. He might be trying to bank it in the bottom right-hand corner. No, he could see the ball. And he's got an eight ball to the side pocket or an eight ball to the corner. To the left side. Well, he 
miss it to the side. Shows he's human. I don't think Randall's be be moving that um, 11 ball anytime soon. He'll probably be cutting in this 13, going up table to play the 11 ball in the same pocket. I don't believe there's room there, but from where I'm sitting, he's got a better view from where he's at. Yeah, just put it in there. You go. Just put it in the jaws. Let him contend with this shot. Forced him to hit the left side of the ball. He, he could kick the ball. I would get a referee to watch this kick if he's calling it in the upper right hand corner. He's kicking the ball from the, I would kick it underneath. And he has ball in hand. So now I put the cue ball right next to the 11. Pocket it, pocket the 13, pocket the eight. And call game number one, mine. Just um, just get the cue ball anywhere close to where he's at now. He's fine. Hello. Game number one should go to um, Randall Moore here. Didn't want to slow roll it. Raced five, six and under. Should be Gary's break. Randall won his break. Gary's going to try to win his. Keep in mind that Gary has to defeat Randall twice. Using the side break, he pockets the ball in the lower corner pocket. And he's got an open table. All the stripes are spread out real nice, as are the solids. Opening shot, he has the three ball on the side, the one ball in the right-hand corner pocket, and the seven ball down the rail. I believe everything here is open for a table run. Good break. It was a good break. Everything's open for a nice table run. He's going to take the start out with a three ball on the side. He'll probably run right into that four. But um, he's got to make it first. There's a lot of buzz in the room. There's still a lot of people in the room. There's quite a few matches going on. There's a lot of partying going on. And a couple of missed shots going on. As Randall misses that ball in the corner pocket, his opponent missed the ball earlier prior to the other corner pocket, or the side pocket, excuse me. 
And um, Gary's back at the table. Playing the four ball in the corner pocket. Looks like he's going to have to go into the rail, into the 11, into the three, and into the corner. Or is he playing the two ball? Well, so no. Playing the two ball. Actually, he called that 2-3 um, combination. That was a great shot. Hit it just right. Hit the ball on the rail at the same time. Ended up with the two ball the, next to the hole. Shot on the seven ball, then the one. going to want to get on this four ball. Let's come up a little bit more than that. We can follow this ball, avoid the eight, get on the two. By the 11, a little bit more net. He's going to look at kicking this ball off the first diamond here. Awful tight, but possible. comes to the table with six stripes on the table. They all play with the exception of the 11 ball. He's looking to see if it goes by that pocket. Since you're getting ball in hand, Randall, I would take care of that 11 ball right now. Either pocket it in that corner or place the cue ball up on top of it and shoot in the opposite corner, just like you're about to do. Very well done. Good recognition to go after your problem balls immediately. He might have missed it though. So, great recognition, poor execution. I hope that doesn't sound trite, but that's exactly what transpired. Get ball in hand, land up straight into a pocket. You should make it, otherwise I would have to say it's poor execution. And um, 
Gary's got a shot on the seat ball in the uh, left hand corner pocket. On your screen. Oh, he's looking over here. Why is he looking over here? He wants to go this way. Okay. It's called the right hand corner pocket. Never mind. And it looks like it's going to stay out. It did. That wasn't an easy shot. The other one may have been an easier shot. And up we go. Might as well take the ball up on top and shape one of those three balls that are close to it. Whoa, 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 don't get behind that ball. You'll be in trouble. It's a good time to play shape on this nine ball. A little bit of draw. Whoa, whoa. Well, that's going to cost him the game. He was about to just give him the game, but he decided not to. Randall's upset with himself. He could have drawn that ball on the side and trying to get shape on the nine. That's problem ball. Take care of it immediately. Tied at one. Gary's about to change the score. <laughs> Gary is, I mean, um, Randall schooling um, Gary on the ins and outs of keeping score in the pro arena. And we break the balls. There goes the 13. Is it in? The answer is yes. Shape on the 11. He's got one ball to break out, and he can do it right here. He's looking at it. Opens it up, didn't break it out, but he opened it up a little bit. He's gonna have to, it's gonna require a little more attention. 14 in the corner pocket, cue ball's gonna head towards the 12 there. And he missed it completely. And he also missed the ball completely. These gentlemen have played one, two, three, four, five, six matches, seven matches, excuse me. Seven matches apiece. It looks like Gary's played one. That's right, Gary's played one more match because he, uh, he was on the loser on the one loss side. Nice shot by Randall. Trying to move that 14 ball again, wasn't he? He might as well bank it. Yeah, he's gonna follow this three rails. End up with, oh. Maybe he should have followed the three rails. He drew the ball out of there and um, missed the ball.
Gary surveying his options. It looks like he um, he's going to call the seven ball on the side off the five. Oh, it's the six ball, excuse me. Oh, he just played the five ball. Opened up the seven ball and the six ball. And he wishes he could kind of draw the ball off the seven. So you get an angle or break up the three ball in the eight. But he can just pocket this ball, slide up a little bit, pocket the one ball, then get his angle to break him up. And then work on the four, two, uh, three. Or two, three, four. And uh, looks like the, the one ball goes. I didn't understand what happened there. He pocketed a ball. Guess he call safe. No. Randall doesn't want to mess up that three eight. Oh, scratched anyway. Gave up ball in hand anyway. Let's see what he had in mind when he was playing safe. What was he thinking of doing? the three ball but I think he's going to want to um, there's lots of things he can do here I would pretty much play this two ball and remove the 14 with the cue ball he's going to play the two ball I mean the one ball come down and Play position. Oops, play, uh, I just say play position for the three ball, but um, yeah, missed the shot. Fortunately, the two ball still blocks the 14 for that corner pocket, and uh, Randall is um, got to do something about it. Is he going to attempt to just park the ball and block the pocket? Or bank it in the corner pocket, on the left-hand corner pocket? I like the bank. I actually like the bank. Let's call it a bank. And um, Gary has a solid. I was calling it for a bank on the 12. Nice safety. Nice safety play. He's left the three ball in the upper left right hand corner and he's also left the cut on the four. The cut on the four will remove um, the one nine. He's gonna run into it if he shoots it. Looks like he's gonna shoot the three ball. Oh, the ball went in. But he's pushed the eight ball to a uh, not a good spot. Which can be taken care of right here because he's got a nice ankle. I 
Maybe they'll play the one ball on the side, go two rails for shape on the on the eight. Or maybe one rail. Let's see how he handles it. If he hits this hard, he might come all the way around. Hey, he's not going to be happy with these results. I would definitely get a rep for this shot. Get a ref here. This will. Oh, he's banking it. Okay. I was going to say, if he's going to try to cut it in the left hand corner pocket, it will more than likely be a bad hit. Really close. So he makes contact with the eight. The cue ball is going to be striking the nine pretty much at the same time, or just and possibly um, prior. Handles the bank shot rather well. Takes game number three for a two to one lead in a race to five. This is the finals of the six and under the 2015 Southwest Regionals. Stephen, do you remember who broke first? Neither do I. <laughs> I think it was, um, I think it was Randall, but I'm not sure. So it's Gary's break, yes. Okay, we're on break. They got it, they got it taken care of, they got it solved. Finals, six and under men's singles. First place money, $875. Second place money, 550. Now you know what they're playing for. They're playing for the difference, $325. Side break, five inside. That's about all that yields. Two ball, right hand corner pocket will probably be his next shot. He'll want position for the one soon. If he plays this two ball first, he's gonna have to hit it a little bit harder than he wants to. It's a pretty steep angle. about a 75 degree angle. He doesn't cut it enough, bringing Randall to the table. Oh, it fell in. My Lord, that ball stayed up for quite a while. I was calling that ball missed.
Will he go into this three ball? He wants to go into the three ball and send it right to the corner pocket and not get hooked behind the ball next to it. He was straighter than I thought he was. He looked to me like he had an angle to go up that way in that direction. He did not. Three ball, bring the ball back. Just a hair so you're not over a ball. And then shoot the four and get shape on the eight. He can draw this ball straight back underneath the 12. And the cue ball will come right between the 11 and the 12 ball. And if he can get it to the side pocket, speed to the inside yeah, side pocket, he'll be straight in on the eight. Let's see how he plays it. Could have shot that ball to a different place in the pocket to get the angle that he needed. He's okay. He's okay, he's just gonna play this ball and it looks like, well, it's gonna be tight in the side pocket. Banked it in the low, so he's won both games on bank shots. He's won two games on bank shots. For a three to one lead. Randall will be breaking the balls. He's down two games in the race to five. He needs four. His opponent needs two. Plain BCA eight ball. They've combined the BCA and the USA pool leagues for the 2015 Southwest Regionals. Wide open break, tables open. You can play this 12 into the four, take the solids. Other than that, he doesn't have a shot at a solid. Um, doesn't really have an opening shot unless that 10 ball goes on the side. On the left side. He could shoot the four ball straight in by itself by going around first. Other than that, I don't see much. He's got the two ball tied up. Shoots this four ball. He's gonna shoot the 10, okay. As I say, he shoots the four ball, he can get on this. He can break that two ball out. Little rail first shot, two ball. Two ball heads right up that way, that direction. Now the problem is, He's got the 12 ball and the 13. Uh, they are gonna require that bottom right hand pocket. It's blocked. Play this, play this um, 11 ball in the same pocket. 
Break out the 12. Bring that. Uh, broke it out nicely. Overcut the ball. Those are tough shots, especially at that angle. Um, shooting balls down the rail. Uh, requires certain touch and a certain knowledge, I guess you might want to say, to be real consistent. There's just a way of doing it that, an easier way of doing it, that you don't have to straight in shots. Do something with that two ball. He can do it right here. He can play this, mm, play the six ball into the four and open up the two ball. He's now in a little bit of trouble. He's going to hang up the two balls. So he's going to have an easy shot up there. Blocks the eight. Um, he says to. He says to Gary, I'm going to block the pocket for the eight ball. I'm going to force you to play it to the other side. And if you thought you had a shot on the 13 or the nine, I'm going to block that too. He's got a nice safety here. He can. Uh, Play the 13 into the uh, uh, six, uh, six ball and pocket it, leaving the 13 there and put the cue ball up against the bottom side of the seven. Well, we heard that miscue all the way up here. Loud whack. Randall playing this ball. I have a feeling Randall's going to win this game and make it two to three. He's going to close the gap. Just don't get behind any balls. Go Ray over. Yep, I get sir. Something he didn't like about that shot. Something must have driven his eye off the ball. Did the good, did the right thing, looked up, stepped off, then readdressed. Two to three. 
I believe this would be Garrett. We're going to take a small little restroom break. And we're back live. Gary will be breaking the balls. He leads three games to two. This is a race to five. it goes nothing on the break that I can see here comes Randall wants to tie it up pretty bad trailing two games to three he wants to make it three all he says I don't want to go to a second set I want to take care of this right here right now I need three games I'm coming after him Side pocket over there. He kind of hit that. That's the hardest ball I've seen him hit. Well, that's the hardest he's hit a ball. Let's put it that way. Sorry. Well, he's got solids. He's left uh, nine ball in the left hand corner pocket. He's left. Um, 
Back on the 13. The nine ball in the corner pocket will yield. That 14 ball up by the eight. Uh, you have to do something with um, with 12. Because it's being blocked by the five. That works pretty nice. Well, what are you going to do? It's going to double kiss the eight ball. Shouldn't make much difference. Send them all. Didn't double kiss it. Kind of just came around it. And... Um, he now has a shot on this 11, and now he can handle this uh, 12. Well, the cue ball's going to go right at that uh, 5 and 12. A little bit of high English is going to go right at it. He's got the good English. Well, now he's opened that up. I don't believe the 12 ball goes in the left-hand corner pocket. He could bank it in the side. He could shoot this 14. Uh, um, he's going to have to hit it pretty hard in order to get position, or, yeah, in order to get position for that 10 ball. Just looking to see what he can do. Gary Engelbert in the finals, six and under, 2015 Southwest Regionals. Playing the 10 ball. Take care of one of his. Pro he's going to be able to take care of both of his problem balls. Eh, not quite. He doesn't have an angle to get to the left side of the 12. I don't think. No, he doesn't. He's pretty straight in. So he's going to have to follow this ball for position on the 14, and then back up for the 12. So he can hold the cue ball up there for the eight. Now, in attempting to get position for this 12 ball, he's going to be faced with two side pockets. They're going to want to swallow that cue ball. If he Englishes up, he goes towards the side pocket on the right. This could also kiss off the six or seven and go to that pocket back and forth. And there's the other pocket wanting to take care of that cue ball. Did a very nice job. His speed was excellent. He didn't give himself a chance to scratch in the second pocket. And took the cue ball a little bit up. That was a very nice shot. Very well done. Soft shot. Just make the ball and have the eight. Just like that. And he's about to go onto the hill. For a two, four to two lead, and a race to five. This is a toughie. Gary Englehart takes a four to two lead. Balls are flying in the pocket. 
Just three of them went in there. Didn't look like you hit him that hard. I wish I'd been watching that a little closer. Might have learned something there. How to break the balls. Cue ball's not in the bad place. Open table. What's he got available to him? He must be able to see this 12 ball on the side because that's what he's shooting. He's now tied up the 14. Uh, the 13 is tough. He's trying to look at this 9 ball to make it. He's got an 11 ball in the lower left hand corner. Oh. He just moved the 8 ball from a long way. That wasn't there. It was further up, wasn't it? And he moved the eight ball with his cue stick, and uh, Gary says, I'll just leave it there. We're not sure where it was anyway, so we'll just leave it. Looking at this three ball. That's laying there for him. He's got to find a way to get on the seven and open up that two four. Well, the three ball's still there, and it's now blocking that lower right hand pocket, saying not available for pocketing balls. Bad idea is to bank that 13 over to that 9. Open it up. Because now you're just going to have to come way down here. 7 feet away and shoot this 11 ball. And there's really not another shot available. Unless you create it by moving that ball. And move it, he did not. So I would pocket this three ball with the 13 and put the cue ball on the bottom rail. That's exactly what he's doing. Now, hopefully the for hopefully for Randall. And it nope, that 7-2 is lined up pretty nice to that corner pocket. Pretty good shot. Looking pretty decent. Won't take much adjusting to make it. He's calling the two ball in the corner. Well, didn't make it, but he didn't lose his head either because he didn't open up that 4 14. I don't think that ball goes. We're going to find out because I'm sure Randall's going to try to show me different. Not from there, he's not. Four to two. Trailing four to two. He's about to leave his man, his opponent, a chance to win the match. You can start out with um, the two ball, or you can start out with the two ball. You could play the six ball to the left hand corner. Not leave much if he misses. But 
They go for the for the make instead of the maybe. Two, five, one, six, four, eight. Recommended pattern for running the table. Or a combination thereof. I would not shoot this ball because this cue ball can leak over and pocket the eight. Wow. What a good shot. I would be a little worried. I, I, um, anytime my cue ball is going to travel anywhere close to the proximity of the eight ball and it's close to a pocket, I'm a worry ward. I hate looking like an idiot when that happens and if you happen to make it. And you sit there and say, oh, I should go underneath it. And then all of a sudden you don't go underneath it because you hit it thick and um, you're not happy. I don't understand why he didn't. Well, he, I guess he was straight in for the five. He didn't think he'd come down. So he did not shoot that five ball first to begin with. But I thought he had a little bit of an angle to come down. But like I've said earlier, there at the table, I'm not. And his speed was just perfect, precise for this four ball. He'll just follow it or just stop it right there and pocket the eight ball on the side and win the first match. And it looks like Gary Inglehart will win the first match of the finals. He's got to defeat his opponent twice since this is a double elimination tournament. Hold on a second. I don't think they realize he's got a... Oh, they're going to give him another sheet. That's right. 